Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the emulation PC build and I want to test out some PS2 games. We're going to be using PC SX2. Now this here is Big Box. This is the paid version of LaunchBox. And as you can see, looks like Hyperspin, but it is a thousand times easier to set up. Now I've set up Hyperspin, Rocket Launcher. There are several other launchers that I've used. I love LaunchBox. This is Big Box here. This is part of LaunchBox when you pay for it. It is amazing. Let's get right into it. I'm using PC SX2 here. First game I'm gonna test is Tekken 5. I'm also using a wired Xbox One controller. I'm waiting for my Bluetooth adapter. This is the uh, Xbox One S controller with Bluetooth built in. So let me go ahead and turn the music sound down within the game and then I can give you some game sound here. But unfortunately, I'm not able to display the FPS when I'm in widescreen mode but I can assure you that this is running at 60 FPS. There is a weird bug within PC SX2 when you're using um, Tekken 5. There's lines through the screen unless you use a specific resolution. And uh, right now I'm at 1020 by 1020. In the other games I'm gonna be testing, I will go way higher with the resolution so you guys can see how it should look when you're emulating these PS2 games. Go to Arcade Battle real quick. It still looks amazing, and it does look better than the PS original PS2 on a composite TV. I can tell you that much. So there are tons of settings within the PC SX2 emulator. I mean, it is crazy how much stuff is built into this emulator. Different games require uh, different settings, so once you start using it, you'll get used to it. And I just got my beat because I wasn't watching the game at all. Let us uh, let me just stop talking and I'll play through this round. You lose. Round two. Fight. but it runs good. Come on! Gotta get these combos going. Honey, get off of me. Now I've always sucked at Tekken. Um, if I use Eddie or this girl, they're button mashers and you can get away with beating a lot of the AI. If you don't know how to play the game, I've never really gotten into it, so. We'll just play one more round here and then we'll move on to another game. And I'm definitely going to get my beat on this one, too. So I'm just going to let him kill me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say, but he's actually just destroying me. There we go. Alright, so if I hold select and press start, I can exit back in the big box, as you see. I'm going to exit Big Box now because I need to change some of the settings for these games I'm going to test. I'm going to test Gran Turismo 4, God of War 2. Any Ratchet & Clank game has weird bugs within the textures. I'm hoping they'll be able to fix this in the future. Shadow of Colossus does run good, but I'm going to make a full video just on that game itself. So keep an eye on the FPS up at the top there. Uh, I've noticed this game sometimes does drop down to 95% full speed of the PS2 and it does dip to 55 FPS in certain spots depending on what's going on on screen. It seems to run really well. There are other settings that you can change. There's just really too much 
to change within this emulator. It is crazy how much stuff you can uh, get away with in this. Woo, that is some touchy steering. So we can change the view here. I used to spend hours playing this game here. And after playing like Forza, going back to this older game, the camera moves so weird. It's something about it. It's very, very stiff. It's a little hard to get used to. But I mean, 59, 57 FPS, not bad. And I'd like to cover this game a little bit more in some uh, later on videos. Because I really, really love this game. I'd love to revisit it. Get up some credits, build some cars and stuff like that. And the game still looks really good. And we're done. Into the wall. Ah! Oh. It's just not the same as Forza. What I'm going to do now is move to God of War 2. Let's see how that performs. Okay, so I skipped the initial tutorial, as you can see. I had already cleared out a few guys in here earlier. Um, oh man, I did not mean to do that. This game was giving me trouble yesterday. I was having um, ghost imaging. And there are speed hacks built into PCSX2 that you can change. If you run into problems with a game, just do a quick Google search, and I'm sure somebody else has had that problem, and you'll be able to fix it really quick. I had to turn on speed hacks and then go to something like half pixel. I don't even remember really what it was. But we do get a little bit of slowdown. And I am at four times the resolution of the original uh, PlayStation 2 with this game. If you go down a bit more, I'm sure you could get full speed out of this game. It does play very well at this, re at this resolution and at this frame rate. It'll drop down to 50 when there's a bunch of people around. It's not that noticeable um, in gameplay unless you're looking at the FPS counter up top. You won't even really feel it.
So as you see, it's not bad. It's definitely playable. I want to get back into these uh, PS2 games. I haven't played them in ages. And this PC is definitely going to allow me to do that. Some of my favorite games for Ratchet and Clanks, and it's just too bad that um, they have trouble with the textures in those games. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe, because i got a lot more coming. If you guys want to see any other games running in the PC SX2 emulator on this computer here, let me know in the comments below. And I will make another video sometime later on this week. Next video I'm going to be doing is probably Dreamcast on this unit here. Like always, thanks for watching, guys.